What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. On this episode today, we're gonna to try to type a couple loose ends and fix a few things on the F-250 and get it ready. But without further ado, let's get to it. All right, well, let's stop, start this off with the obvious. The votes are in, and I only got two votes. So if you didn't vote, you can't complain. As you can see, we decided to go with the factory bed instead of the flat bed. Get you a little backup shot, full shot. I was up in the air about it. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but I think I like it. I think it makes it look more like a truck. Now guys, I really wanted to do a video of me taking off the old flatbed. I really did, but it just, it didn't happen that way. I had to get some help to get that old thing off because believe me, when I tell you that old flatbed was heavy. I had to hire some help that wasn't exactly YouTube friendly. Obvious, oddly enough, it came off fairly easy. None of the bolts really gave me too much trouble. I only had to cut one bolt off, so a win in my book but now that we got that bed sitting on there we need to finish putting the bolts and stuff in hooking up all the little stuff so all right let's get it now as i said before in previous videos we're trying to go as cheaply as possible and when i pull the flat bed off of course the original bed bolts were just long gone so i looked around to see what i had and I had some of these. These are the head bolts off of a 91 Ford Ranger that I did a head job on and you're supposed to replace the head bolts. Well, these are still pretty good and I think these will be good enough to hold the bed on. So that's what we're going to use. And I've actually, I don't know if y'all can see that, I've already got two on there so I know they'll fit. So let's get the rest of them put on. That one went in fairly easy. What's so holding this one up? If y'all can see that. No, oh, just a little bit off. Well, the other one's dropped in. Well, after a little drilling out, finally got that sucker to go through. So she got old washer up top. Thank you. 
five scripts on there. And I bet y'all was wondering how I was going to make that work. Right there, baby. Of course, it's not the right size. It never is. Actual vice vice grip brand. If I ever meet Derek from Vice Grip Garage, I'm gonna have him sign those. All right, let's get the other one. We'll tighten them down. Derek from Vice Grip Garage is doing today. I wonder what he's tearing up. Alright, that'll work. Alright, let's drill this one out too. I wanted to put a wash on it, but it didn't happen that way. Ooh. Yeah. I think my drill's a bad habit. I've had her for about 12 years now, so she was a noble steed. Now, even though this does not work, we're going to hook it up and pretend that it does make it look more complete. So, can't forget the trusty milk crate and the old shop floor. I 
All right, now that we got the right tools. Any of y'all ever deal with that dadgum uh, Facebook marketplace? Tell you what, I just assume not sell nothing on there. I get people on there, don't show up, don't say nothing. If you're not interested, just don't do it. Aggravate some limp daylights out of me. Almost as much as this. People begging on there. I've never seen such nonsense. Too. That's real good. If you can't get it to come off, just break it off. That's nice. Alright, now that we've broken this off, we're just gonna stick it on there and pretend it works. <laughs> No one will ever know. <laughs> All, right. All right, now that the bed's done, if you saw in our Will It Run video, you'll notice we did get it to run. I ended up in the process of trying to get it to run better and see if it would idle. Ended up smoking the starter on it, so I had to go down to the O'Reilly's to get a new starter. It wasn't too bad, only about $100. But let's get this put on. Let's see if we can't get it to run a little bit better. Alright, I don't know if that's a good video, good spot for y'all or not. If not, then you probably won't see it because I'll just edit it out. Here we go. It's just a starter, it ain't that hard. Come on now. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh shit. Not that it's hard. Just trying not to tear everything up in the process. That's great. This is what you want dirt in your eye. It's, uh, it's good for you. That's what they say. 
five out of ten doctors said dirt in your eyes, good for your eyes. I don't know how to tell you all this, but that's somebody's probably ain't going There we go. Now we're cooking with grease. I'm sure some of y'all are yelling at me. You putting it in wrong. I ain't putting it in wrong. Just ain't put it in right yet. Just give me a second. Now if the bolt would start, I'd be doing great. Like that'd be just fabulous if it start any day now. Nobody move. Mm. Somebody asked what the torque spec was. Torque spec is good enough. Or tight enough. There we go. For some reason, I took the starter off, the old one I had to take this bolt off and I don't understand why this one is just slightly different. I just hope it works. It bolts up, it should work. Right? Is that how it works? We're going to find out. My luck. It doesn't work and this video is going to be a bust. Why do I gotta work on junk? Why can't I do? Born rich. It says so good looking. So the good Lord said I was already so good looking. He couldn't let me be rich and good looking. I said I can't have it all. So I'm stuck working on junk. <laughs> anyway. Oh y'all don't think it's funny? I think it's hilarious. You gotta have some humor. All right, we got the new starter installed. Let's see what she'll do. Yeah. Hello everybody, we're back again. It's been a few days, been caught up to work and stuff. But after a lot of tries, trial and error, the starter would just click. It would not start. The solenoid was working, but it could not get started to work after I installed it. I got to looking through some old pictures. On the old one, they had a metal bracket that went from here to this contact here. And this new starter, and I looked in the box, everything it did not come with it. I don't know if 
O'Reilly sold me the wrong one, or just if I was supposed to remove that part, but that part was rusted off. That's why I messed up in the first place, so I'm pretty sure I changed in a perfectly good starter. I just wasted $100. Good job for me. Now, I know this is probably going to void the warranty, so I do not recommend it. But I have an idea that'll work to get us power from here to here. We're going to make our own little bracket. So, don't yell at me. I'm just doing something that's going to work. Put some of this. Bend it. I think that'll work. Let's put the starter back on. Got the starter installed. Now let's see if she'll turn over. success look I know it was janky I know it was bad but you can't knock it if it works all right 
See if we can get it to start up again. Come on now. Uh-oh. All right, now we're not getting far. Well, that's great. Okay. We need to verify to see if we're getting the spark. And since I've been wanting that show, we're gonna have to do this without me being in the cab. Everybody else has on YouTube has these fancy starter buttons. I do not, but we're gonna make our own. This is uh, off an old spotlight that was actually in the bed of this truck, so just gonna cut that here. Trust the pocket now. Alright, now that we got our range free, let's hook it up. Okay, now that we got our fancy little starter switch hooked up, let's see if we can see some spark down here. Now, y'all may not be able to see it, I hope you can, but my quality, my, ugh, can't talk today. My camera's not a very good quality, I apologize for that, but I'm just working with what I got here. Alright, well, let's hook this up, let's see if we're getting spark. That answers that question. We are not getting spark. Stick that back in here for the time being. If I can get start. There we go. Right. Bolt meter. I'm getting something, but I'm not getting a lot. I'm not getting a whole lot. All right. Let me take a do some research and I'll get back with you. 
All right, what's up, everybody? We're back at it again today. Give you a little update. It's been a few days. Found out it was this little idiot box that sits right over here was the reason why we weren't getting any spark. Here's the old one. Pretty crusty. And I have had these things go out on me in the past. I guess I should have ran to this first, but... Anyway, I had a video of me changing that out, but it was at night because I don't get off, get off work till after dark. And the video didn't come out too good, so we're just going to skip that one. It's not a whole lot to it. It's three little screws and two quick connections. It's, it's pretty simple and self-explanatory. But we are getting spark now, so let's hook the fuel up, hook the battery up, and let's see if she were idle. Right. Give her a little boost. And here we go. Look at that. Right. There she is, folks. It took a little bit. Gave us a few little trouble, but she's idling. After 15 years or 17 years, I forget now. I'm too excited to remember. Let's see if she'll go into gear. All right. Yeah, we got no brakes. Oh. She does try to go into gear, but I got a wheel cylinder that's locked up. All right. It runs pretty good, if I don't say so myself. But we don't have a radiator in this thing, so let's just go ahead and kill it before we mess something up. Hot dog. What are you doing, dog? What are you doing? Check. Come right. Who's a good boy? <laughs> All right. This is the wheel that's stuck. And she did go into gear. Oh. Oh, okay. She did try to go somewhere. Oh, she spun a tire. That means the transmission works. All right. Right, let's see if we can't get this drum unstuck. All right. Now we got our tools and stuff set up. Get our wheel off. Let's try to get this brake drum off. Now, I've never done this before. Y'all just bear with me. Give 
had all the beans. Hope y'all enjoy watching me struggle. I ain't one of them fancy YouTubers who's got the million dollar tools. You get to watch this the, the poor boy wet. <laughs> Y'all can see that. Got some rust on her. That's not good. serious. Of course the part I thought was the wrong size.
made that fancy socket anyway. Just put the little, uh, I can call these the Hillshire Farm sausage fingers on it. Gets it every time. I think that's it. Man, that's good. All right, I'm having trouble getting this brake drum off. So when you have problems like that, and I don't have a pulley. I guess we're just gonna have to use the old speed axe. We'll see how this works. Well, guys, she whooped me. Now, this doesn't happen very often, but I've tried everything. I cannot get that drum off. I even broke it a little bit up there. I even got to the point that I took a chunk out of it there. I was hitting it with a sledgehammer. I've tried everything that I can think of. Like I said, I've never done these before. But this one has whooped me. I even tried reversing the little gear in the back, but I just, I can't get it off. I can't get it unstuck. So I put it back together and we might try it again. We might not. I don't know, but if any of y'all have any ideas, feel free to bloop blap down in the comments and let me know. I might try to do some more research and see what if I can't figure out because I really would have loved to have driven this thing for you guys, but sometimes it just happens. All right, well, thank y'all for watching. Feel free to comment down below if you have any ideas or suggestions. We might try to get back on it. But until next time, thank y'all for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and y'all have a good evening.